Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Says Alex, says the Ramble. That must be the Ramble with me. I'm Alex, and we're here until midnight tonight uh, from New York City, coming here from Harlem in New York. Yes, this is where we are. This is what we do. This is what we uh, try and achieve, frustrating as it may be. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I, every, every Tuesday, I kind of like uh, talk to somebody, and if we can get them on here, there we go. And he's uh, he's already there. And uh, let me just uh, uh, let me see here. I gotta find the thing where we go to him. And there we go to him. And there's Phil. Hello, Phil. Hey, how you doing this week? How are you doing this week? Well, uh, I've got my uh, my things that I'm going through. But um, what do you mean you your know? thing? Your things that you're going through now that that could be a number of things. Ah, uh, they, they're going to uh, open up my arteries uh, on the fifth. Oh, okay. Uh, increase uh, blood flow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Seems I've got another block. What do they do? Go in there and do a little roto rooter job on it? Yeah, I think they stick a balloon up there and then they leave a stent uh, if that's what they need to do. Yeah. Uh, and it just opens up the arteries. Yeah, I, uh, I usually with me, I just leave a stench. No, yeah. uh, no, uh, yeah, it's a joke there. Hello, yeah, there. Nice hat. Yeah, I hope you're going to be okay. Uh, you know, ninety nine percent of people have no no issue. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a uh, procedure that has been perfected. Uh, the Kaiser that I'm going to, uh, mm -hmm. does 15,000 of these a year. <laughs> well, so, I, don't, I don't know if that's good or bad, you know, well, like if they had to do 15,000 of them, it meant that all along they weren't doing preventative maintenance. Well, that's up to know? the individual, you know, that's a Republican thing, you know, yeah. that the yeah. individual has to eat better exercise and take care of themselves. Yeah. Unlike me, which I didn't do any how, of those. How, do you, how are you supposed to do all that? in this atmosphere i mean you know I, it's very difficult i don't it's, it's, i don't i you know i just don't go out at all and when i do go out it's it's agony i i it's like i've lost the ability to walk practically you well, know, you know uh, my gym has been closed since the lockdown mm -hmm. uh and i actually want to go back you know, I, I used to just pay the membership yeah. and felt that I was doing what I needed to do right. uh, to exercise. Right. You know, and then when I stopped writing checks and just automatically paid, mm -hmm. I, I felt I was getting more exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, um, I, I'm ready. yeah, I, um, um, but the, here's an interesting little fact that I found out. Uh, they're finding out things about this vaccine every day. OK, uh -huh. number one is it doesn't work. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It have, does. Have you had your second shot yet? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. I'm getting it on Saturday after everybody I know has gotten their second well, shot. I have. Yeah. And I have found that there is something in there that makes you like Democrats and uh, <laughs> not carry your uh, Republican uh, committee membership card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and also, uh, the the more I watch this program mm -hmm. called Z Nation, mm -hmm. I see all the Biden voters uh, and why they got so many votes. Now, I think you watched Z Nation. I watched Z Nation when it was on. Yeah. It's on now. Well, it's again. Not, they haven't brought it back. No, uh, no it's, no. Uh, it's. I'm watching. It's just the available. From, it's available on Sci-Fi. Uh, Netflix, I think. Netflix. Yeah. Really? I didn't. Yeah, know they put and, it on and I, I'd never watched it. Yeah, I watched it when it was on Siffy. Oh. That's what I call Sci-Fi. Siffy. Because ah, it Siffy. says Siffy. It doesn't say Sci-Fi. It says Siffy. 
Tiffy, yes. Yeah. Well, anyway, I didn't realize how uh, that was a pretty good one. It was a little bit of a takeoff on Walking Dead. Yeah, but it had its I, own it had its own sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know like the guy that's got the uh, uh, you know they're trying to get him to California. Yeah, have you gotten to the ball of zombies yet? Ball of zombies? No. Yeah, they 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 supposedly a whole bunch of zombies and they were all attacking each other at the same time, so they rolled down the highway like tumbleweed. In this big giant ball. Well, you know, you know, uh, that's that's one of the best things on TV lately. Yeah, yeah. We just got through uh, binge watching five years of Gotham. Ah, uh, which is I an incredible. Into that, it's an incredible show. I mean, the, the production values and the the script is, is, is uh, the writing is just crisp and wonderful. It's just, really, it's a great what's show. it about? It's about Gotham. It's about the uh, you know it's. It's pre-Batman Gotham. It's it's Bruce Wayne evolving. It's Catwoman evolving. It's uh, Penguin evolving. Riddler evolving. Joker evolving. You know, but they haven't yet reached their their DC comic best. You know, at I that see. point, and it, uh, it's really very good. It's very. They it got very the good. booms and the bangs and so no, forth. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not comic strip at all. It's very dark. It's really? very dark. Yeah. It's on Netflix. You should try and watch it. All right. You know. Yeah. So far, the zombie has been keeping me busy. Yeah. And, you know, uh, they're faster than the regular zombie. Yeah. And, and so I've been channeling this zombie thing. Mm -hmm. No, that, that, that's just your goofy teeth. <laughs> but it, it looks like zombie teeth. You know, zombies don't have good teeth. I guess. I guess. It kind of looks like a Republican voter in the South. Yeah. 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 Uh, I got the card right here. You know, Republican National Committee. Well, it's not there bad. There's nothing wrong with being a Republican. Yeah. It's being a Trump Republican, which you were. I still are. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. After everything that has come out. After the way he acted. The Did you watch uh, the hearings today? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. I I heard some here and some there. And yeah. I, uh, I the gist I was getting mm -hmm. was that there was a lot of inaction by the Capitol Police. There was uh, not a lot of communication between the FBI and, uh, and others. And the... Uh, Somebody and also the White uh, House was slow to react. Well, yeah, but it, but the National Guard, uh, I guess uh, there was an hour or so that they the chief of the Capitol Police asked you, for you National know Guard okay, help. None of, and, none of this excuses the fact that this thing happened. Okay, yeah, and and they, and they and they all well, it does. You know, you can pivot any way you want, uh, but the the bottom line is if you look at what did happen. Uh, there was uh, there was a lot of things that led up to this, and they knew that there were groups, the Proud Boys mm -hmm. and a number of other uh, anarchist groups, mm -hmm. uh, planned on uh, on attacking before. But who, you know, who, who, before. who invited them to come to Washington? Everybody's invited to come no, to no. Washington. No, who invited them in particular to come to Washington on a particular day, not just uh, you know. Uh, the Monday before or the Friday before, but right on the day they were going to uh, be doing you, the. You can't, uh, you, you can't uh, uh, oh, say no. that just because no. people were exercising their First Amendment rights no, no, peacefully no, 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 that no. a group pre planned to attack uh, on that day. How do we know they weren't in legion with Trump? With Trump? Why How do they, we know they wouldn't be, they weren't in legion with Trump, that they were given the go-ahead from Trump? So you're now a conspiracy uh, uh, theorist. Listen, I, all I know is that a bunch of people were asked to come down to Washington because it was going to be wild on that particular day. And then they were told by the president, go down to the Capitol. And they all marched towards the Capitol He's after doing. giving women, after several rabble-rousing speeches by uh, Giuliani and Don Jr. and ultimately the president. I mean, all these things in conjunction with each other showed at least irresponsibility on the part of Trump, if not conspiracy on the part of Trump. I don't see a conspiracy, but, uh, you know, uh, riling them up and telling them to go there 
uh, could be construed as uh, some rabble rousing, but ra- everybody rabble rouses. Uh, uh, that uh, Lee, Lee woman from uh, Texas uh, who said, don't let Republicans eat a meal, you know, attack them wherever they are. But that that's not in seniority and seniority. That, that, that meant well, meant to attack them verbally and not make them go anywhere without them knowing that their actions have consequences. The way that uh, Bernie Sanders supporter attacked. Uh, don't, the, blame, uh, the, don't blame Bernie Sanders for Bernie Sanders supporter. Don't blame Trump or Trump supporters. No, I don't blame Trump because I saw an absolute correlation between what happened in Washington and what he was saying moments before. And I see the same correlation between uh, the. Are you going to say? Are you going to say that Trump acted didn't act irresponsibly? I don't think he acted irresponsible. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, I'm sorry. You don't. You know, uh, those are the same streets that uh, were occupied and ha- and that park that was occupied by terrorists that painted BLM on the street and and uh, and did other things. But you know, painted BLM on the streets they were terrorists. They they were allowed to do that. Yes, and Trump is allowed to have a rally. You know, and you yes, know, but why, why couldn't he have done the rally a week before? Why did he have to do it on that specific day? He wanted their voices. And to be why heard. did he? Why did he say in his tweet, "It's gonna be wild"? Well, it's oh, come it, on, Phil. Phil, 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 Phil. It's Phil, gonna be. Phil, uh, it's time for you to start acting intelligently and not keep defending this guy for his bad behavior. It's going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be huge. That's what he tried to tell Milani, but she found out differently. Differently, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, back to uh, uh, other stuff. I heard, yeah. uh, read today that COVID cases are down about forty percent across the mm-hmm. nation, yeah. but in New York, they're uh, they're not. Well, uh, they're uh, that one percent or something. No, we have less deaths now by a considerable amount. It's yeah. down around well, eighty six today. Was the yeah. uh, was the count or yesterday, uh, and. Uh, We've been up around 150, so we're we're down on that. Hospitalizations are up a little bit. Uh, percentage of uh, uh, COVID positive uh, rate, rates. Listen, I think our governor was doing a, a brilliant job for a while, and now he's doing a crappy job. His brilliant job was based on uh, uh, telling uh, uh, tales out of out of school, you know, saying that, you know, maybe the reason why COVID deaths mm-hmm. are not down in New York is because he uh, Cuomo was hiding the uh, the true amount of COVID deaths. Well, that yeah. could be, Phil, you know, yeah. but, um, uh, you know, um, uh, the question is whether he was doing that or whether they were not hiding them so much as they were they were reporting them as hospital uh, deaths as opposed to nursing home deaths. Yeah, yeah. but he uh, also look, uh, look, people are look, look. calling for his like, resignation. I'm willing to say that Cuomo has been acting like an utter asshole lately. Okay, you should say the same thing about Trump, but you don't. Thought, you don't come to that realization. You drink no. the Kool Aid and then you persist no matter what no i see the truth uh you know i'm not like an ostrich but uh cuomo i always thought was a bully and uh no, no i and, agree with you that he's a bully it that's the way he he does business and uh but uh he, in this particular case i felt at least for a time he saved my life okay who are- what, that state senator uh, that uh, he said Cuomo called him and said that if he didn't change his story, that he would ruin his career. Oh, that's Kim or something. If they, yeah. Uh, yeah, a Democratic yeah. senator. Well, that's what he says, by, uh, that uh, Cuomo said. There is no recorded uh, 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 what a record of that. Uh, Kim has been out to get him for the longest time, and he would, if you know, if he called up and said a couple of nasty things to him, he would then blow it up into being "I was threatened" and blah 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 blah. So, uh, you know, it, I mean, interesting. There were a number of other Democratic senators, uh, state listen, senators. There are a lot of people that are mad about this whole thing. I'm mad about just the way they've been handling 
uh, the uh, distribution of the vaccines in this, in this state. Uh, I just got a thing today about my appointment on uh, Saturday. It mm -hmm. hasn't been changed, but the location has been changed. Really? Where are yeah. they sending? They're Javid? sending me all the way up uptown, up to 136th Street. Oh. Um, to the A. Philip Randolph High School. Uh, what, but I mean, but I mean, come on, you know, you, you, I got this place to get my shot because it's a block away. Right. And now you change it and put it to a place where I've got to like find a cab or a Uber or something to go up there. All right. Well, so really, you know, I mean, yeah, I can do that. I'm not that old that I don't know how to do that sort of thing. But, uh, but, 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 but. You know, I think it's wrong of them to do that, at the, especially at the last minute like this. You know, uh, I thought you were going to go by uh, your normal place and look at the line mm -hmm. uh, to determine what I did was going last on. Last Saturday, and there was a line just as long as the one that I had before. Really, yeah. and nobody was late. And, and nobody was late. And then I said, I'm, I have to come here next week. I said for my second shot, and they said everybody in this line is second shot. Hmm. So apparently they schedule all the second shots on the same day. Now, when I go to this other place, it may be better run, and I may get right in, but I don't know whether to go there five minutes beforehand, like it says I should, or whether I should get there a half hour beforehand so that I can get my shot on time. Is there anybody talking online about uh, no, their experience no, at no, this particular no, spot? No, no. But I just the exp whole experience is so confusing um, that they they even had something in their instructions. Where was it? I had it here. I'll read. I'll just read you this instruction. You only have to go ten blocks. Well, right. Uh, One hundred thirty-six. Yeah, it's about ten blocks. I'm not going to walk it though. It's too cold for that. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Where's my Where's my medical? Okay, here we go. Um, all right. Now it says what to bring. Okay. Yeah. Completed NYS COVID-19 vaccine form. I've already done that. I've already printed out the thing that says, hey, I have completed it, and I give that to the person. And right. you have your card, right? right? It says vaccination card from your first dose appointment. That's right. Yeah. Four second dose appointments. Yes, I, I will bring that. And then it says completed day of appointment health screening. What's that? I know. What is that? What is that? Well, you know, for my operation. Can tell me, if anybody can call me later and tell me what completed day of appointment health screening is, I'd like to know. And that's day of appointment. Maybe it's just a list of questions. Have you been exposed to anyone with COVID? I think it's, uh, I think it's the page I have here. Yeah, do you have any symptoms? No, a page I have here, which uh, here, I would just put it up on the screen. I'll show people so they can uh, they can see it. Well, I can't see it there. I'm going to get a COVID test prior to my uh, operation. Hmm? I'm, they want me to have a COVID oh, oh, test. Oh, yeah, you have to have a COVID test. Yeah, yeah, those things, yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, so I, I I don't know what the hell that means, you know? Uh, I have a complete, feeling it's it, just a screening questionnaire. I think, no, it's not a screening questionnaire. I think it's the QR code and the appointment details. I'm bringing that. I have nothing else, so I don't know what else it could be. But, I mean, isn't that an asshole thing? I mean, they just, you know, and, and okay, I don't think I'm a doddering old man. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. And I just think that I should, uh, I should know. I should be able to handle this thing okay, you know. And and here I have a question. It makes no sense at all, you know. That's how badly they're handling this. Is thing. there is there a way of uh, searching what that form is? Uh, I I. Put, put it in. It doesn't say anything. I can't find anything relating to that, uh, except that another. it's another thing from the New York City that tells you what to bring, and it doesn't mention that. So, you know, I mean, I, I all I'm saying is the people who are primarily going to get this are people who are older, right? Yeah, so, although California, I think, just opened up the 65-year-olds, or uh, not California, um, Kaiser, opened up again to 65 year olds i got in as a, as over 65 mm -hmm. uh i had maybe a day and a half window yeah uh, to do it and uh i got in on that window no, uh, I, otherwise i'd still not be vaccinated yeah but you know i mean I, all i'm saying is is that i think this state has been handling badly and then now he's going to open up movie theaters 
Hmm. You ready for this? Uh, to uh, 25% capacity or a total of 50 people per screen. Wow. Yeah, like the movie theaters really want to open. They're going to be charging $80 for popcorn. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. They, well, you just got to figure for 25% capacity, popcorn's four times the price, and they're back to where they had to be. Back <laughs> to where they had to be, exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't, I, you know, I don't think it's, it's going to be uh, that, uh, that simple. You know, I mean, and it, it, you'll it, have to buy yeah. popcorn and, at the door and they're not opening it in. You got to buy the popcorn. They're not opening the Broadway theaters. They're not opening the New York Met, you yeah. know, the Metropolitan Opera. Oh, they're not doing anything like that. And I think it's too early to do that. I think it's still time to continue to be safe rather than sorry. Now, why do you feel that when you have states like Florida that have opened up everything as if there was no COVID and they have numbers that are better than uh, New oh, York, California? Oh, 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 yeah, they're better, but by a margin. No, you not want by me to, You want me to yeah, give you the exact numbers? Yeah, me yeah go, no, numbers? take a look. I'll give you the exact numbers. Coronavirus. And I hear it in the news. Here we go. Hey, I've got it here. Uh, coronavirus. Uh, all right. Uh California beat out New York. Well, we're number one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, they have 49,822. We have 47,037 deaths. And we got a good head start on them. You have know to. why you have lower deaths? Because everybody died in New York. Everybody died. No one left. Them. Right. Right. And in, uh, in uh, Texas, they've got uh, 42,000. Florida has 30,000 deaths. But, you know, Their let's look. Is less. The population is less. Absolutely. So, but I mean. Did those, did those deaths occur? Uh, uh, what's, what has been the rate since they've opened up? And, uh, you know, maybe that, that rate was everything, at the beginning. Everything, Phil, has gone down for one simple reason. We're past Christmas. We're past well, New Year's. We're past it, Thanksgiving. It, we're past all of that. That was when we saw the biggest spike. But they're saying that the cases now, not just the deaths, but the cases mm -hmm. uh, currently in New York are almost the same as they were. They were down about 1%, but the rest of the nation is down about 40%. So how do you explain that? Well, I explain that by saying that we are a different situation here in New York. We are certainly, how can I put it? We're, we, we have a, a, a greater ability to transmit the disease because of close proximity to each other, density yeah. of population, all kinds of factors. But basically, we're going down to, you know, we're, we're down considerably from where we were uh, during In the California, of the Southern California. Mm -hmm. uh, there are restaurants that are uh, suing. They said, we're going to open. We don't care what the what the government is saying. I guess they're willing to be arrested. Uh, and, uh, they're, they're really, uh, you know, they're, they're at their edge. They oh. say they, they can't stay in business, uh, that, you know, families are going to lose everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're willing to take the chance now in Florida. Hey, hey boo, hey. boo fucking who you, do you want to kill people or don't you want to kill people? But you have a choice. No, you have a choice. No, no, Think no. about this in Florida. Uh, they opened up all the businesses and if you feel that you sh you no, no, are Phil. need to be locked down. Then you lock down. Hey, you Phil, have no problem. Phil, you don't have a choice. If you are a person and you go to one of these restaurants and then you come down with COVID and spread it to other people, then no, those people didn't have a choice. Except if you're uh, if you, the governor of, of Florida trusts the people that the governor live of Florida there. is a douchebag. Right. He has killed more people. I mean, when they started and, out with this whole thing. Uh, they were they were did not have a huge amount of people dying as a result, but because of his actions, he caused a real spurt in the in the death rate. You know. Well, you know, I, I, to pivot on that, Cuomo did the same thing, but you're still locked down. California's locked down for all intents and purposes, and and what uh, what they are protesting is, hey, if I want to take a chance and go to a restaurant and sit in there. It's my no, own. But you're taking a chance with me the minute you leave it. You're taking yeah, a chance of you giving stay it. Home. You're taking, Phil, you're taking, let's say I'm a relative of yours and you come over to my house to see me. I now have it. I die. Okay? So, this is so, so you, you kept that open 
oh, wonderful, you have the right to keep it open. You have the right not to go to it. Well, th that's a possibility. I but I that. also have a right. You know, there that. are people that won't let people come over their house unless they're immediate family mm -hmm. members. Those people believe that uh, lockdown is the way to go. Well, you but know, we, we, can, others, we, can say, we can yell freedom all we want to, but the freedom ends where my getting the COVID starts. OK. And if you're helping the spread, uh, that's not good. And screw any of these places that want to open now, up and and put what, people's lives in danger. So uh, what is happening with uh, the tracking that uh, they do for, they for COVID? Do they still do are that. they? Yeah, they do. I that. don't think they are tracking. Well, yes, they are. We are here. Well, they hired a ton of people. Yeah, we're, we're, but, uh, we're doing the tracking here. You don't hear anything about it. I hear about it all the time. Well, if they're doing the tracking, isn't that supposed to reduce the uh, number of not COVID nece cases? Not necessarily, but hopefully it helps. Maybe if we weren't doing it, it would be worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, so, I got to go. Plus, now you've gotten everybody mad. <laughs> that was the general plan. That was the general plan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And uh, uh, I should be out of the hospital and uh, ready to do battle on Tuesday. Yeah. I'll let you know. When are you going? Maybe the I'll be doing it from the. When hospital. are you going into the hospital? Uh, March fifth. March fifth. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Thank you, Phil. Bye bye. Enjoy. Okay. Bye. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. There goes Phil. I don't know what I've got. I've got a stuttering problem here with the video tonight. I don't understand it. Hold on a second. I'm going to do something which is going to make things uh, kind of jerk around a little bit here if you're watching us but i gotta i've gotta um clean up uh the video here um so that it um you know will you'll suddenly see me okay now we're now we're okay are we okay now all right i don't know i've i've tried to help things along here all righty okay anyway let's uh let's go to our uh panel uh, I don't know if this does. If I can't solve this video problem, uh, I'm going to stop doing this show. I'm just getting so sick of having to deal with it every night. Anyway, here comes our 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 panel, and uh, there they are. Okay, hello everybody. How are you? Are you there? Is anybody talking? Yes. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure somebody was talking to me. Uh, Alan is connecting his video. Charlie, have you connected your video? Are you okay? Yep. Okay. I'm okay. You're okay. And uh, Alan, you're okay as well? I'm okay. Okay, good. Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Yeah. Did you all have a nice weekend? Yes. Yes. Nice weekend. No. Nice hat, by the way, Alan. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. You sent it to me. Yeah. I thought I, I would wear it just to piss Phil off tonight. You know. It worked. Uh, but he didn't have any. You know what's interesting? He didn't have any gripes about um, uh, about uh, uh, Biden. He just was grousing about other stuff. You know. Well, that's the way he is. Yeah, I'm sure Robert loved every moment of it, didn't you, Robert? I decided after tonight I'm boycotting Tuesday, the beginning of the show because. <laughs> Life for him is so fucking simple. Everybody on this side is bad, and everybody on this side is good. Nothing in life is that simple. Well, it was Nothing. like a point. I, the point. I, the, the one point I was trying to make to him is, I can sit here and tell you, I think that Cuomo is acting like a douche. Okay, uh, and I'm a fan of Cuomo. I've been touting him all along. I'm not going to keep touting him when he does something wrong. And it should be very easy to see that Trump did bad stuff. You know that he didn't didn't do the right stuff. <laughs> who's who's got who's got yeah. their audio up? Jeff, yeah. Jeff. I think I do. Yeah. Oh, gee, Jeff. No, he said it. no, don't, don't. Just, just turn it off. Just turn off. Yeah. No, it's still there. No, now it's gone. No. Is it gone? Is it gone? I think it's gone. Yeah. All you have to do is just don't. Once you call us, just turn off the 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 browser. You know, at least the the uh, the video on the browser, because that's mm -hmm. where you're getting the audio from. Anyway, or if you're using Chrome, you can always go up there and on <clears> the tab, <throat> just right click, and it says mute. 
Mm. Mute, uh, mute, uh, yeah, uh, I hate the mute. mute site. And if you mute the site, mm. anytime you go there, it's not going to have that sound. Okay. It's not going to have audio. Anyway. But guess what? I, f I got my Apple computer back. Did you really from the genius oh, wow. bar? <laughs> Only took uh, a month. Yeah, I like to go to the Genius Bar yeah. and make fun of them for being geniuses. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I I like to go up to them and say, you know, calling yourselves geniuses probably is really a slap in the face to Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Robert has a piece of paper in front of him. I do. I I, I don't have minutes because I wasn't on the last show. I don't think, but mm. I I certainly prepared something for today called things I saw on television. Things you saw One of which on was television. I watched five minutes mm -hmm. of the Senate hearings to do with the Capitol Police, and I can sum it up mm -hmm. in one sentence. What? I called him at 108. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, if you know that much, you got the whole thing. Okay? Yeah. And then I got to watch the, uh, the press conference regarding Tiger Woods' motor vehicle accident. Uh, oh, okay. Police press conferences are about the most fucking boring things you can ever watch in your entire life. Because, A, they yeah. each take part in introducing someone else to come <laughs> to the podium. Yeah, 15 guys come up, but none of them know a shitting thing until the investigation. I got a hint for you. In a single car non-fatal accident, mm -hmm. the investigation already happened. You know, like they don't go back six weeks later and keep digging for clues. But be that as it may, the first guy that got up, the police chief said, at, by the way, these are things that they either said or I wish they said. Okay. okay? All right. It, would you please, so get, would would you please denote when it's something you wish they had said? Well, you, I leave we you to, to figure it out for yourself. <laughs> okay. At 712, they received the, the call that there was a motor vehicle accident. Mm -hmm. And Officer Carlos <laughs> Gonzalez was called to the scene, mm -hmm. at which time he said, and I quote, Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. See, now, don't you wish he admitted that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> then they went on to the fact that they brought the jaws of life, yeah. but they didn't use the jaws of life. They used some tools, including an axe, at which time Mr. Woods was heard to say, quote, get away from me with that fucking axe. <laughs> Oh boy. We then proceeded <laughs> we then proceeded to have a dual screen. Uh -huh. Part of it was the cops introducing everybody that was there so that everybody gets a little high mom time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the other half the screen was showing and this was brilliant television, mm -hmm. the flatbed truck with the damaged vehicle on it. Yeah. And I'm telling you that this ride was 25 minutes. Not since OJ's Bronco have we spent more time watching a moving vehicle on television. They brought it to a garage, finally. Yeah. And now I'm intrigued. What are they going to do with it? Well, they put it in one of the bays mm -hmm. of this service station, at which point I assume they realized it didn't belong there and backed it out. No. I can only guess. I thought, it would, I thought it'd be funny if they had taken it there to get fixed. Well, I, I can only guess somebody said, no, Paco, we can't do an oil change on this one. Get it out of here. So, the, meanwhile, we're back to the cops who are also conducting this press conference in Spanish, which made me wonder, neither Tiger Woods nor Golf nor Hyundai Genesis are Spanish. But that's a, you know, it's yeah, a small yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Um, Somebody at some point actually asked, are you sure it would, when did you know for sure it was Tiger Woods? And the answer was all that will be revealed after the investigation. <laughs> I think okay. he was, he was, um, I think he actually was talking to them because he stood up. He was yes. conscious. He stood up. He, he was, was conscious, conscious. And he yeah. probably said, I'm Tiger Woods. Now, see, there are questions I would have asked. Like, for example, were there any naked women in the car? Nobody bothered to ask that, <laughs> no. but I'd like to know. No. 
I'd also have asked him, <laughs> do the Dodgers have enough pitching this year? You know, because I wasn't getting any information on anything else. <laughs> I probably would have got the answer. We'll determine that after, you guessed the it, investigation. the investigation. investigation. Yeah. With that, I rest my case. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't see that uh, whole thing, but uh, oh. what he did, he's, what, a broken ankle or something? Where these, he's... Is, is, apparently, he's got crushed. It, one, one bone was compound fractured. Okay. And apparently there's cr- crushing injuries. Yeah, I mean, there's legs. Car rolled over, didn't it? Yeah, a lot of yeah. times you're. The, yeah. I mean, the whole engine was compressed, so he yeah. had to get crushed. Yeah, he was. I would. I he had surgery to be alive, probably. Yeah. Well, he had surgery, but it seems as though he's not. He wasn't ever in harm's way. You know, not not well, as far as losing his life. Right. No. Yeah, right. Life threatening, right. but I don't know. Painful. <laughs> Not yeah. until the investigation. That's right. We got to wait for the investigation. Yeah. But what they're going to what they're going to determine mm-hmm. in this investigation was what we all know: too fast for conditions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you lost control of the vehicle. Yeah. Vehicles tend to not have the motor go flying one direction and the vehicle yeah. another one unless they're moving mm. pretty quick. Yeah. Not yeah. usually. What Brian? Your hand was up. Oh. Brian. No. Oh, your hand! I, you, no, I thought you had your hand up. I, I saw your hand go up. <laughs> <laughs> he Jesus. was saying, "Amen." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. Um, well, that was, uh, and you know that that story never stopped all day. It was just on no. constantly. They even broke into the hearings today to show this <laughs> car just yeah. sitting there. Yeah. You know, I'm oh, telling you, watching the uh, vehicle on the flatbed truck. It no, forget about it on the flatbed truck. They had shots of it while it was sitting there for hours the and hours and hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw those. It always reminds me, there's going to be a court case today. So 6 o'clock in the morning, they take some poor stiff reporter and put him outside the courtroom on the street mm-hmm. with a microphone. Does that lend any credibility to the story? <laughs> Couldn't they have done that from the studio just the same how so is it many, that makes it better? Uh, right. I so would, I, I, I like I've got to tell you that I that what I love is, and this always gets to me, is when it's snowing. Yeah. Or it's yeah. it's flooding. Yeah. It's flooding, and they've got somebody yeah. in waders. Yeah. Standing in the middle of the mm-hmm. flood. Yes. Now, right. in one case, I saw a woman doing a report <laughs> with her waders on, uh, up to her up to her thighs in water. Okay, <laughs> when right behind her was a, what can we call it? Just a, well, just a, a passerby. But no, it was oh, a ride. Citizen. Well, no, it was some dry land. Yeah, right, right back right. of her. <laughs> yeah, a guy went right yeah. past. She could have just <laughs> gone there and yeah. stood on there rather yeah. than standing in the water. I'd like yeah. to think that the person who is reporting the news to me is intelligent enough to not sit in the water, stand in the water. Right. You know. Or these people, the, the camera the, shot, these people you know? who want to show you how bad the hurricane is by standing out in the middle of it. Bad uh, weather. Yeah. It's is terrible valuable. down here. Alex, what's this got to do with Tiger Woods' accident? I, what is <laughs> what is Tiger? Well, you know, I look, I, I, I feel sorry for Tiger. He's had some pretty bad times on and off with health problems and so on and so forth. And we all kind of root for him to make a comeback again because it's the kind of comeback story we'd like to hear. Mm. But I don't really give a shit to this extent. No. No. You know? No. I mean, the fact yeah, that he, he probably one, wasn't, he was probably driving recklessly and he had an accident. And while I feel sorry for him, let's get back to the hearings or let's get to some news that's important, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, you got to You got to look like at the what's happening. What's happening? What's happening with Kim and Kanye? I want to know. <laughs> okay, we got to get to the important things. Yeah, Tiger was on his way to their house. Oh, I see. That's what it was. Okay, right. I get it. You know, there's there's no skid marks. Neither. There, no I, idea I, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There are skid marks, but they're in my and oh, there are drawers. Yeah. There are, there are drawers. I'm sorry. Yeah. I well, I didn't know what you were referring to exactly. <laughs> I hate when that That's happens, only because though. during COVID, I don't care about changing my underpants, okay? Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Look. Yeah. What, what is this? What's this all about? You know, come on. <laughs> I've given up. And it used I've to be a up. big shot. I've given up. 
I'd given up. <laughs> you know. He changes underwear with the guy next door. And, and tonight, I, tonight, I'm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I, last night I, I slept, but I kept waking up. And so tonight, I'm just tired. I'm dog tired. I'm doing the show, but I'm dog tired. I'm getting old on top of it. That, thank you for reminding me, you fuck. Do you have sleep apnea? What? No. No. <laughs> you might have sleep apnea. No, I asked. In fact, I asked Marjorie, do I, do I snore? And she says, only occasionally. And uh, I said, do I ever when sound like I'm, I'm running out of breath? Right. And she says, no. You know, I don't have sleep apnea. Uh, you know. That's good. You know, I, I think it's just that I can't get a good night's sleep anymore. Because as you get older, uh, and then I, it, in order to get to sleep, I'll take a pill that puts me to sleep, and then I'm groggy all day long from taking the pill. So yeah, that, that's don't do that. what, what a drag it is weed? getting old. Uh, smoke, smoke some weed before you go to bed. I smoked some weed. La- I smoked some weed last night before I went to bed. Yeah, yes, Alan. Um, so can we talk about herd immunity for a minute? I heard about immunity. Tell the, me about the, it. The latest news. Is there anything I haven't oh, heard no. about immunity? Yeah, heard immunity. Yeah. Not your sex life, Alex. So, well, that's where, that's where, out. wait a minute, that's where you have an, in a, 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 an ability to not go to see a John Heard movie. There Ooh. you go. That's herd immunity. Wow. Thank you. So, I really pushed that it one. It was herd mentality, remember? Oh, it's oh, herd yeah. mentality. Yeah. yeah. Herd, herd yeah. mentality. So, yeah. in, in, it, a, a message comes out and says, why doesn't the president order all the states and all the people, like namely the teachers, mm-hmm. to get a COVID shot? Huh. Because the government doesn't have the authority to do that. That's right. In the Constitution. That's right. I'll give you an example. So um, the, the, the highway system in this country, the government said, you hire your contractors, you do it our way, and you, you connect from one town to another. And we'll pay 80%. Mm-hmm. And what did they get? 10%. You know? Mm-hmm. And so they and the states are all in a mess. Some states they're 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 inoculating teachers. Some they're doing 65 and older. Uh, some aren't inoculating anybody, like in New Jersey. You know, I mean, what a mess. And then we find out, I always wondered why the president didn't get a health care thing and order everybody to get the vaccination. And now we know why. Because the government doesn't have the authority. Well, no, I know that the the so government we'll never, the government we'll never the get government the government the, with this many Republicans the here. government supposedly cannot tell you you have to have an inoculation. In fact, a hospital can't tell their doctors they have to have an inoculation. That's it's right. up to the people to have them themselves. Now, I'm wondering why that's so. Because if you're talking about the public welfare and their healthy well-being. Shouldn't you be able to pass a law? So, I mean, we, we do have laws that say you can't send your kid to school if he hasn't had his, his shots, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So why can't we do the same thing, uh, you know? You can't For get your kids, driver's license unless you, unless you have the COVID shot. Right, right. So we have a lot of selfish Republicans out there and other big, people. Big government ain't telling them what to do. No, I'm sorry for <laughs> interrupting you, Dan. Oh no! I was just, I was, I was imitating the. Uh... Well, I mean, <clears throat> I'll tell you, tell you what, what, what you you know this, Charlie, down in Texas, you've got a bunch of Republicans blaming the Green New Deal for all the problems <laughs> they had last week. <laughs> they not realizing that, of course, it's global <laughs> warming that caused this thing in the first place. All yeah. right, but no, the the windmills. Uh, are the Green New Deal. Look what yeah. happened. They all froze up. Yeah, they froze up yeah. because you didn't buy the right ones. You bought the cheap yeah. ones, okay? Uh, well, you know, we had trouble getting electricity here. Well, that's because your state said they would not go on a grid. Yeah. And so you couldn't get your electricity from elsewhere. And they're blaming, and then they say, but it's it's the problem with the Green New Deal. See, if it wasn't the Green New Deal, we would have been fine last week. And and of course, uh, uh, T- Ted Cruz would be enjoying himself in uh, in Cabo San Lucas aren't, or wherever he Aren't the Republicans know. supposedly the party of personal responsibility? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> until, 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 they're supposed to be, but they're not. until they yeah. don't want the responsibility. Yeah, they know? want to be victims of. Everybody. No, they they years ago got off the grid because their attitude was we don't want to be beholden to regulations from other states, from sure. a federal regulation. 
Mm-hmm. And you so know, yeah, that's that why the there. electricity went out and they couldn't get yeah. it back on. As you may well know, Charlie, did you lose your electricity <laughs> there? <laughs> did four you? days. Four days. Well, it's on right now. There's lights on in the background. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Four yeah. days when it was nine degrees and no heat. You hey, got well, water back. Water back today, right? Out. Today, mm-hmm. about noon today, it came on. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you, know, did you have any it, pipes that froze up? Eight days with no water. Did you have any pipes that froze up or anything like that? First Not pipe? me personally, but I'm in an apartment complex and oh. pipes froze down the way and that didn't turn all the water off to the whole building. Oh. Yeah. Ted, Cruz, Ted Cruz has a distinction, you know. He, he became the first Hispanic man to move from Texas to Mexico when somebody yelled ice. <laughs> no, because of because of ice is how I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, I and I love. Isn't he just a national treasure? Isn't he? Oh. This is a guy who really throws his daughters to the wolves when yeah. he wants an excuse for why he. I yeah. was being a good parent. Most most parents. A good parent takes you on the bus. A good yeah. parent takes your kid to the airport. Listen, <laughs> if if yeah. he if he wanted to be a good Uber. parent, he could do it very nicely by taking his kids to the airport, mm. putting them on the plane with mom, and sending them down there, and nobody would have complained about that. Yep. Right. Nobody would have made a big deal out of that. But when he <laughs> went, and then he says, "Well, I just went down to take them down there." What was that yeah, big? Why did he what have that, luggage? What, yeah, what was that big piece of luggage you were taking right. with you? you <laughs> yeah. Plus, I what? I would have brought wait, wait. his friend with him. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. one yeah. of his college buddies. Well, they right. invited they invited their friends to join them at the I don't know at the Hilton the or something. Ritz Carlton. Ritz Carlton. That's yeah. what it was. You know, I mean, because the Heidi Cruz had her little text group. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, and the text leaked out of there. That's where they found out all the information from. Uh, that, I mean, so. it, you know, <laughs> and and this guy will probably get reelected again in four years. You know, because he, he, wore, he wore the Texas mask. He wore the Texas mask, showing yeah. Texas is number one when yeah. he was coming. What did they what did they say yeah. on Saturday Night Live? That's kind of like Ivanka and uh, Jared wearing an <laughs> "I Love New York" T-shirt. New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No, that was uh, 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 that... so the stupidity doesn't it, it doesn't I don't know how to say this fall fall from the tree. Yeah. His daughter posts something, and the world finds out that Ted Cruz is not in Texas during this. I mean, what was she thinking? What was His he daughter? thinking? What was he thinking? Yeah. He says, well, I, I don't when, know. When I got on the plane, I thought maybe I was doing the wrong thing. Then you know what yeah. you do? The door's still open. Yeah, yeah, because that, that's when people started taking pictures of him right. yeah, in his luggage yeah. away. That's why he had that feeling. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Mr. Larkin, John Larkin, ladies and gentlemen. I'm freezing up a bit. I'm going to reboot. Okay, go reboot guys, and come right back. Secretary, I mean, his uh, mm-hmm. his press secretary, her comment um, mm-hmm. on the internet, mm-hmm. uh, Ted Cruz's. Yeah. you got to check it out. Google it. Uh, her name's uh, Blair... Erskine, Erskine, or something like that, or just 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 Google a Ted Cruz's press secretary uh, responds to criticism or something like that. It'll come up. It's mm-hmm. pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's it, it was a it was a a stupid mistake on his part, but not uncharacteristic. I mean, this is a guy who absolutely. Uh, thinks he has a life pass to anything he wants to do. Um, yep. Yes, Alan. Uh, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the guy that ran for president? Yep. And somebody uh, pointed out that on his father's property in Texas, there's a rock that's painted. And excuse me for using the term, it said nigger something or rather. No, and he said, George oh, Bush. What was who it? was that? That was George W. Bush. Oh, was it really? Oh, I thought it was Ted Cruz. Okay. Well, the thing with Ted Cruz. Oh, let's that... let, let's say Ted Cruz did it. Okay. Let's just yeah, say. Why not? Let's just. Well, say. the thing with Ted Cruz's father was that, like, that Trump was. What was the thing about Ted? Yeah. Cruz's oh, he said Ted Cruz was responsible. His father was responsible for the death of JFK. 
Yeah. yeah he, was plot- he was one of the plotters or something. Yeah. Okay. Now, how you go from that to kissing yeah. his ass is beyond me. You know, right. I mean, if I, if I, if my, if, if my father had been berated that way by Donald mm-hmm. Trump, once Donald Trump got within walking distance of me, I'd go choke him. Okay. You called your wife ugly too. Yes. Yes. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, nobody is brought up, and I'm surprised Phil didn't bring it up. You talked about the Capitol Police, but yesterday the Supreme Court kicked Trump, Trump in the teeth pretty hard. Oh, yeah. With, uh, yeah. Saying that they are not going to get involved. That's right. And New York has the right to subpoena his tax records. Yep. He's, they're going to yeah. get him. Yep. <laughs> I kept on, uh, the media kept on saying, but we won't be able to see those tax returns, blah, 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 because we'll be private. I kept mm-hmm. on saying, what do you mean? We already seen them. Didn't the New York Times already published them all last year? I don't, think, I, I don't think it was all of them, but maybe. Well, I mean, all of them. In pretty much the last 10 years, you know. I think Trump probably felt like shit after he put three jurists on the, on the Supreme Court. They didn't do anything to yeah. stop anything mm-hmm. yeah, yeah they, they, well trump said they were the worst employees he'd ever had oh man <laughs> he thinks the supreme court works for him right yeah that's <laughs> what you know that's <clears throat> what with everything attorney general is my personal lawyer yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i uh um i i just i i don't know i don't know what's what's what what's wrong with us now Robert, what's our problem? Where where have we gone sour? <clears throat> you yeah. mean as a country? Yeah. I mean, we're even trying to turn things around now. And every time Biden tries to turn things around, he's like headed off at the pass. How dare you talk to uh, the uh, uh, get back into the uh, uh, you know the the Paris Accords? Uh, what I think it. It's when one of our political parties put more, a greater value on winning and power than they did on what was best for the country. I honestly feel that way. Yeah. And I'd be, I would be, I would love to engage in a debate with anyone on the other side that that hasn't been the case since Newt Gingrich, honestly. Do you think Newt Gingrich I, started it? Oh, I, well, I think oh, he, yeah. he yeah. fostered what you see now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Newt, by the way, one of the most humorless people I ever interviewed. Uh, I'll bet. I mean, I you know there I, there are a lot of people I interviewed who uh, Republicans, you know, who I I should hate, but they, they were really quite affable and amiable. Uh, what's his right. name? The former governor yeah. who's on Fox. What's his name? Uh, or was Huckabee? on Fox? Huckabee. I've got to tell you something. Nicest guy in the world. Yeah, I'm nice, sure. Nicest guy, you know. I mean, I, his politics suck. He's horrible. Mm-hmm. But on a personal level, person to person, he's pretty cool. You know, he, he, I, I got along with him well. He was respectful of me. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I didn't find him that, that you know, the, the, the jerk that everybody would like, like him to be. Okay. Uh, but on the other hand, Newt Gingrich, I found to be an absolute asshole. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, uh, I had him on twice. The first time I had him on, I didn't attack him. The reason I didn't is I wanted to get him back the second time so I could. In mm-hmm. other words, you don't want to chase somebody away right. and then spend your, your uh, cachet, as it were. Don't uh, to... show all your cards. Exactly. In the first yeah. exactly. Well, also, I found that even with people like that, the best way to get stuff out of them is to make them think they're kind of in friendly territory. Comfortable. And then sure. they lower their, their yeah. guard and they say things they wouldn't normally say. Okay. Right. And my job is to get the answers out of these people, not to be some kind of hero by attacking them. Okay. Right. So the second time he came on, he was, oh, yeah, sure, I'll go on Alex's show. He was so nice to me the last time, right? And he comes on, and finally towards the end of the interview, because I always wait to throw this kind of question at somebody at the end of the interview, because I know if they're going to walk off, good, it's over anyway. And I said to him, I said, by the way, you a religious guy? He says, oh, yeah, I'm a very religious guy. I said, uh, um, uh, I, I, do you go to church, church-going guy? He says, oh, yeah, I'm a church-going guy. I said, hmm. 
I said, uh, church going guy on Sunday? He says, yeah. I said, then how come I see you on all those talk shows on Sunday? And he says, well, that's after I go to church. And I said, that's the Lord's Day. You're not supposed to do any business on the Lord's Day if you're a religious person. <laughs> he had no answer for me. <laughs> he just, he fumfered, and then he suddenly tried to change the subject. As I went, because the thing that always got me were all these guys going, oh, I'm a very heavily religious person, and blah, 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 blah. Listen, the only president we ever had who was really religious that I know of and was so steeped in his religion that he lived it out in a very positive way was Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. This guy was, you yeah. know, he went to church every Sunday, and I bet you, you wouldn't see him on a Sunday talk show, okay? Yeah, yes, uh, Dan. <laughs> HBO Max has this great documentary. I know. I mentioned it the other day. Yeah. The called, Rock and Roll President, Jimmy yeah. Carter. It's awesome. I saw it the other day. Terrific. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, that was good. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, I, he's I, just, just yeah. a really good guy. But yeah. what always always got me was that all these guys were on the Sunday talk shows, and then they're talking about how, how religious they are and how God-fearing they are. And, and I found, always found that very hypocritical that they were on a talk show on Sunday. Now, Schumer could go on a talk show on Sunday, but he couldn't go on one on Saturday, so far as I'm concerned. And you probably won't see him on a talk show on Saturday because, quite frankly, there aren't any talk shows on right. Saturday. Uh, yes, Alan. So you brought up something, well, only briefly when you were with Phil, about the governor of Florida and mm -hmm. how many people he probably killed. He probably killed more people than smallpox. You know, yeah. I mean, this guy is a fucking train well, wreck. But you see, if these people had taken the opportunity to warn people about this thing and to set an example, I mean, let's face it. And I, this is not because I hate Trump. It's because it's a fact. This man's the response. Yep. If we had 500,000 dead this last weekend, th that was the count Finally. Finally. If you hate to say that. We made it. Okay. Yeah, we made it. Um, uh, if that's the case, I, I'll, I'll lay 400,000 of them at the feet of Donald Trump, where if he yeah. had acted responsibly, wore a mask, said, everybody start wearing these masks, here's how we're going to tie this thing down. But he refused to. He adamantly refused to. And now we have 500,000 people dead. And he mm. killed them. And you don't hate him? I do. Oh, I absolutely hate him. I detest him. You know, I mean, he put a gun to my head. All right? Yep. To all of us. Thank God I was smart enough to not leave the house. But for me, it goes beyond those dead people. It goes to his lack of understanding of that and his lack of remorse. You know, you read history, and what you find is that there are presidents upon presidents who lost sleep and got physically ill over the idea of putting people in harm's way mm -hmm. you know you read about obama when they went to to do the uh the project to kill osama bin laden being a nervous wreck about mm -hmm. it here's a man where people literally died on his watch and he was still consumed with things that were you know his concerns like, personally yeah Empathy. It's all about well, empathy. Well, here's yeah. where he yeah. was a very no man in the report. Who cares about okay. all the people but that died? Let's continue to build the wall. Here's right. here's you know, how he here's thing. how he was oh, a stupid wow. politician. Let's protest the election. I won the yeah. election. Who cares yeah. about that? But here's how he was a stupid politician. If you're a good politician, you look upon uh, COVID nineteen as an opportunity. Yes. Yeah. As an opportunity to exploit it. And to yes. get the most out of it and to be able to say, see, I warned you against it and I did this and I made yeah. you wear masks and I, uh, I kept the numbers down when they're going up all over the world. But he didn't see that as an opportunity. And that's oh. how inexperienced or, or a politician good, he was. Just be a good fucking politician and do your job. And, uh, you know, like, look at... Uh, AOC, she's raising all what she raised like a couple million dollars. Five million. Million. five million now. Five million, and she's five? from fucking New York. Wow. And yeah. those people of Texas, they just want to kill her. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing is, the thing is that uh, uh, you know that 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 he could have very easily won the last election if he had just worn a mask. As simple as that. Yeah. 
yeah. you know, and cared about it. <clears throat> Listen, I assume Biden cares, but let's say for a moment he doesn't give a shit. He's acting like it. And that's, yeah. a, that's enough to make us feel yeah. confident, okay? Right. Uh, there's a, the old joke about, you know, if you, you can't be sincere, at least fake it. Fake it, yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, but, right. I mean, I, I, I assume that, that <clears throat> Biden is sincere in what he's doing, but he's doing something about it. He's making people... I see more people wearing masks now than were under Trump. And uh, I see more people taking being distant from each other and doing all the things you got to do. Because you got a president who's setting the example, so you know um, that's it. How about uh, did you hear what uh, Al Franken said about uh, Ron Johnson? You know that that psycho senator. He I know said, who that Johnson is. <laughs> he's the guy. He's the guy that was saying that uh, all you know the Trump the Trump rioters were Antifa, and uh, Al mm -hmm. Franken said uh, Ron Johnson's an Antifa uh, an Antifa plant to make all the the, the Trump supporters look nuts or look oh, yeah. insane. Or I'll something. tell you something. There was a guy. There was, right. a, there was one guy who testified today in these hearings. Am I right, Robert? Because you watch them. Uh, who said Antifa hardly exists? Yeah. You know, if anything, it's a small yeah. group of yeah. people, maybe a handful, who yeah. don't represent any kind of right. uh, threat to the security of America. It's which, it's which the, I took as an insult to you, frankly. Yeah, because um. I am the leader of Antifa. <laughs> And if you look at the number of people who are watching this program right now, believe well, me, they are a small group. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. I just looked here, and I, I'm not fun. even going to post the program tonight. How's that? So that if you want to watch it, you got to watch it, okay? I'm not going to put it someplace where you can watch it later, and then people don't watch it there. I mean, it's been terrible lately. Well, Why should I go to all that trouble? My going to be unhappy. Hmm? Oh boy. Yeah, nobody. If they're not watching it, how are they going to know to watch it now, or they won't watch it later? Yeah. That's right. You got to build your audience. Right. I would have I never got on the show if I couldn't watch it. If you're not watching yes. now, you don't get to threaten them. Well, have you guys seen the Mars? Have you guys seen the Mars pictures? They've been yeah. coming through with these 360s. Yeah. 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 They did a night, awesome. night, a night version of it, like a sunset or something. Unbelievable. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold, wait. hold on a second. Let me see. Mars pictures. Mars yeah. pictures. Yeah. Mars pictures. Mars pictures. Sell some okay. fine chairs up there. Oh, by the way, did, have, you, <laughs> have you seen this thing that the, uh, that the uh, Lincoln Project has done? about uh, 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 Ted Cruz's trip to Mexico. Yeah. And then yeah. it gives out his phone number to f get a tour of, uh, with, with yeah. uh, Ted, uh, call <laughs> yeah. this number. I decided to call the number because I know from my past, from my history of doing broadcasting, that what you don't want to do is to uh, give out a phone number that's going to get you in trouble. So you always they right. always have 555. Yeah. That's because there are no 555s, five five sure. okay? They had an actual number there, so I called it. It's Ted Cruz's office at the Senate. Oh, wow. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Hi, this is Ted Cruz, your senator from Texas. And, uh, you know, if you want to oh leave a message, God. leave a message. I can imagine. Did you ask that's... for a tour? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, get, uh... I got a call today. Somebody called me and asked me if I wanted an extended warranty on my Mars rover. Because if no. my, oh, it, right. it had expired, <laughs> I get so many. I, I got a couple calls today about the extended warranty in my car. I have a new car now, and they don't oh, yeah. know what kind of car I have. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. this whole phenomenon yeah. is with the extended warranty. Perseverance game. Rover. Oh, you know what they got with this rover? They've got a, uh, uh, they've got a, what do you call it? A uh, sunroof? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> A oh, warrant. Man. Smoke some more <laughs> weed, what yeah. man? A sunroof. Not a sunroof. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, here we go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Um, no, that's not what I want. I, 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 there we go. I'll get rid of uh, window capture. Display what do you capture. Get? Let me uh, see. Weed. Okay. Wait a minute. Here. Hold on a In second. In New York. There we Legally. go. There it is. There's uh, there's the rover. And you can't see it. You guys can't see it. But there's the rover. And I bet that was taken with the hovercraft. They have a hover. Oh, yeah. It yeah, they got a helicopter. It's a, oh, a great it's it's drone, huh? Yeah. And it looks, it's cool. It's Mars. I always wanted to go to Mars. But I never got to go to Mars. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's no, Mars. 
and uh, they have yeah they, they have a night they have a night version with all the stars and like like milky way or something right Dan? yeah yeah the milky <clears> way <throat> is in the center it's awesome they had a shot today showing the earth venus and and jupiter all in in the one part of the sky on mars really oh, oh really? i got i gotta go look at this stuff later i'm i'm so thrilled by this you know i'm just yeah. i'm just mad that i haven't uh uh, that I that I uh, uh, am old, so old that I'm not going to see us go to Mars, uh, because I always thought we would. Yeah. I thought we were going to go to Mars right after we got to the moon. <clears throat> that was going to be the next big thing. Yeah, I did too. And we could have been there by now. Yep. But no, <laughs> no, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm I'm it's kind of cryonically uh, hmm? preserved, so my brain can, you know, in the future if they figure out how to. Yeah. Yeah. I sent my brain to Mars, <clears throat> or maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe Did there you is. Who died today, Alex. What? Uh, Lawrence yeah. Ferlinghetti died. Yeah. yeah. Ah, wow! I didn't know that. Poet, poet. Years uh, old. C- my, when I was what? a kid, I carried a copy with me everywhere of Coney Island of the Mind. Ah. Uh, 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 right the, there it is. There it is. I had yeah. that for years. Don't ask me to read it, though. I'm not reading it. Uh, the, the dog trots freely in the street is my favorite. Yeah. San Francisco guy? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, he was from the East Coast, but he, yeah. he, he, I see. he came here in, the, in like, 51. And, and, and he started... owned the City Lights Bookshop. Right, yep. right, right. And to show you that, uh-huh. that that was the poetry I read when I was in high school. Okay, yeah. he wrote that. Is he the guy, uh, the guy was 101? 101 years old. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Somebody else he died. Was, he published. So you got twenty more years. Yeah. Huh? He, he published. He, uh, yeah, I got twenty-one more years. Right. I'm lucky if I got Alan next Ginsburg. week. What? I he he. I got a great story about Allen Ginsberg. Um, it, it it involves you too, Alex. Um, I remember you telling a story that you knew Alex Ginsberg. And, well, uh, you know, well, I knew I was I went to parties with Allen Ginsberg. Yeah. And he was a real bore. Uh, you didn't want to go to parties with Allen Ginsberg yeah, because he was a real bore. So really? I had you, know this how this, the, you know how there are these guys who can take a party and yeah. just make it die. <laughs> Allen Ginsberg would come with his boyfriend, Peter Orlovsky. And he had this. I can't remember what it was that he played some instrument that he played. I think it was like a zither. I don't remember what it was. And he would sing songs and they were terrible. He was just horrible. And he was he was the most boring human being alive. I mean, so, uh, I've had better conversations with Andy Warhol and he didn't say anything. Okay? So, so I had this girlfriend I was dating and she was she was a big, you know, poetry snob and she mm-hmm. was going on about Allen Ginsberg one time. Yeah. And I said I said, yeah, but I heard he was a real bore at parties. And she's like, what? Yeah, she, she, she got all pissed just, off at everybody, me. Everybody, everybody he would show up at a party and people would start to leave. That's how <laughs> wow. boring. They, they knew he was going to be. He was a party killer. <laughs> was he, he able to play the instrument? Or I, was I'm he trying like to remember gone? what the instrument was that he played. It was some kind of, I don't know, a squeezy loop. thing. I can't remember. And it was just terrible. It was just terrible. I, I, I heard... That he used to play the skin flute with his boyfriend, <laughs> Peter Orlovsky. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, mm. know, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I can't tell you how how the party just you could be having a party where everyone's having the time of their lives and they're cha chaing and having a good time, and he would walk in and within five minutes bring it to a screaming halt. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So, so I was wondering, Robert. Any news on the COVID vaccine front for you? Thursday afternoon. Yay. And, and the good news is, the good news is to make me look bad. He's not even getting his first shot. He's getting his second shot. They give yeah. They're he's giving getting me his second, second shot first. first. Yeah, second one <laughs> first, just to piss him off. Yeah, right. Really? Actually, no. my wife signed, my wife signed me up for it. I'm, I'm not sure if it's for COVID or for rabies. I'm not sure which. Yeah. Here's what I read today. I, I was looking it up in Israel. They've done a lot of st- studies about both Pfizer and Moderna. And they said that after something like four weeks, you have 90%, I've heard 90% protection. And that even if you get it with that 90%, 
right? Yeah. If you get it, it you, you'll get it, but it won't be life-threatening. Uh -huh. you're, you're talking about one shot. One shot, two. one shot. So the second okay. shot boosts it and, and holds it there, but right. uh, it doesn't put it that much higher. It puts it up to 95, but it's up to 90%. Uh, 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 Israel actually gave it higher numbers, gave it like 98%. Well, that was after the you Pfizer. gave the second one. The Pfizer. Yeah. Cut that's, it back. That's all they imported. Cut it back a little because Israelis tend to boast. So yes, there you go. that's right. But and the, another guy I saw on MSNBC said there has not been a single case of even people with one shot. There's not been a single case of anybody dying from COVID who have had at least one shot in the whole country. So you know, <laughs> that's good news. Yeah. yeah. Guess what, Alex? You, well, I'm gonna go get my second. Oh, shot shut up! Tomorrow. Shut up. I knew Shut up. It was on Friday. <laughs> and these morons have me going on. They changed my place. I went and got this place because it was just one block down the street, right? No, you know, pain, no gain, right? And plus the fact, who wants to travel when you got COVID out there, right? I don't want to go to get my COVID shot and on the way catch COVID, all right? <laughs> so they, they, I get this thing today. We've changed your location. The time hasn't changed, only the location. And I get this location. And I, did you hear me read this thing that I got? This, this part was what really got me. Tell me what this means, okay? Um, it says, what to bring? Completed uh, vaccine form. Okay, I did the vaccine form, and I have a little thing that says he has completed his vaccine form. Okay, so I have that. Nails. Vaccination card from your first dose appointment for second dose appointments. I have that, the one that I Check. got. Check. Okay. All right. We're okay on that one. Now, tell me what this means. Completed day of appointment health screening. Hmm. They're going to look you over. Any, any idea of what that could I think it is actually what it is, is it's the thing that I'm uh, that, that, that they just sent me, this part, this part of this letter they sent me, which has a, a QR code and has that. But it doesn't say that. It says completed day of appointment health screening. I, I what think, does that I think mean? They were supposed to send you one, of, exam? one of those extra long Q-tips that you run back to. Oh, the man, those <laughs> extra long Q-tips. No, it just oh. it just says here. That's it, torture. I mean, it is torture. Completed yeah. day of appointment health screening. Screening. That just that means mean? you have to it's be there. They, they're Confirm. probably going to ask you five that to you there. I mean, yeah. but I mean, that's what I'm talking about about how they're so screwed up here in this state handling this thing. You know, and what are the odds you being able to get an appointment with the doctor on that day in such a short notice? Right, right. No, but I think what they mean is the thing with the QR code on it, which is they should have said, "Bring this letter with you." Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll but no, you, they couldn't do that. Here, no. If you're in California, they make you an appointment. They send you an email. Mm -hmm. And you take that email with you. You go to, like, I belong to Kaiser. Mm -hmm. You no go email. to Kaiser. You yep. check in. Yep. They give you your shot. Yep. And, and they give you a little card from the CDC that says you were inoculated. And they ask you to bring the card back next time because they make your appointment at that time just like they did with yours. They don't go through all this rigmarole. With no, well, I had to go online to make my next appointment. No. They yes. do it there. Well, they, they do it there. With us, they, right with there. us, they didn't do it there. But somebody there helped me go through it online and then forgot to have me hit a thing that says, make appointment. <laughs> so that when I went home, I found out my appointment hadn't been made and neither had Marjorie's. Oh, and so Jesus. we had to remake it, and you know we got the twenty seventh as the earliest wow. date. You yeah, know that's right. the kind of, that's the kind of fuck up, you know that that we have here in this state. Oh, you suddenly get a second appointment? No, they didn't hand me. I understand in California they hand you a thing that says here's when your second appointment's yep. going to be you three make weeks exactly. They had right my, my little card, but it it didn't <clears> say <throat> when I had to get the second dose. You know. You know, this, so. this place I'm going to is an hour away, mm -hmm. and I'll show you how they're wheeling guys in and out of this thing. Mm -hmm. My appointment is for Thursday afternoon at, wait for it, 1.03 p.m. Oh, <laughs> That's the truth. And don't come early. 
They said five minutes, no more than five minutes yeah. early. Mine, they said five minutes. They said five minutes. Don't come earlier than that because you won't be allowed to wait around in the place. Yeah. You have to come five minutes beforehand. Uh, and you will not be admitted on the, under, under any conditions. I, and so when I went to my place, I went five minutes beforehand, and I had to wait two hours to I get will in. Assume, yeah. I will assume, Robert, that they're going to make you stand outside and the weather is not like California. I'm going to sit in my car and read a book. There you go. And you, you didn't wait around. You waited in a square Well, block, I'm going to so. go about 20 minutes early and freeze. <laughs> you know. Well, the, yeah. I mean, the first time I went to Kaiser, I, there was no line. I went right in. So the second time, I, I got there 10 minutes early, 15 minutes early. There's a line four miles long around the building. You know, it wasn't four miles, but it was a couple hundred people. And I'm like, okay, now what? And so they, I, I mean, I stood in line and then I got my second shot. But uh, it took mine like an hour at, to get there. Mine is at a pharmacy. And what I'm wondering is when I'm finished, do they give me a receipt that's six miles long? Yeah, like they give you one of those. And also, <laughs> uh, while you're there, you can, pick, you can pick up some sunscreen. Case yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Some a friend of mine put that the distance between the Earth and the Sun is eight CVS receipts. <laughs> well, I, I had a I had a joke I came up with the other day about standing in line, and I can't remember what it is now. The line was longer than, and I I the wait was longer. Oh yeah, yeah. I I was in the line so long when I got my oh, my la my last shot, my first shot. Go ahead. How long was it? I thought when I got to the end of the line, I'd be able to buy an iPhone. Ooh, -bum -bum. Does, that oh. work? Does that work? Robert, is your wife getting the shot too? My wife is in the very strange position of not of being, being married to you, but what else? That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, but a bum bum. Yeah. I was I threw you a softball, Alex. Yes. Um, my wife is in the strange position of not turning 65 for another five weeks. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so they're going to make her wait? Of course. April oh, yeah. 3rd, she becomes eligible. Until mm -hmm. then, they won't even talk to well, her. I have a 420 oh. appointment, and Marjorie has a 440 <clears throat> appointment. Because when I had to remake hers and remake mine, I couldn't find one at the same time as mine, where before we had had them at the same time. But 440, and I'm going with her, and I imagine if I say to them, do you mind if she goes in with me, they'll go fine, you know. But yeah. if they uh, make a big deal out of it, I'm just going to. California, I think that's California. Try, Robert. I try to bring my wife, you mean? Yeah, I think, no, you don't want to I take don't, her? I don't know. If your appointment is 103, it sounds like they're cutting the salami kind of thin. You know? yeah, wait, yeah. A minute, wait a minute, hold on a second, hold on a second. We can find something that will get her in there. Does she have a pre-existing condition of any sort? You know, she's reasonably healthy, which in this case is unfortunate, I guess. Okay, but uh, does she does she smoke? No. Can she start smoking? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I there mean, are certain dresses she wears where she's smoking. No, but but it's, it's the, things like <laughs> obesity is a comorbidity. Yeah. You know, they asked me today in this form, do I have any comorbidities like cancer? And I said no. Man. And the reason I said no is I just didn't want to have any red flags go up or anything like yeah. that. Bing. You know, her best bet, her best bet is to just say I live with him, you know, and point to me. There you go. Yeah, I'm, yeah, with, I'm, with, I'm with stupid. Yeah. yeah, right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I, I had cancer, but I think it's pretty much gone, so I don't know if it's a comorbidity at this point. But Cancer's I probably, if I, need, California. if I needed to have a comorbidity, I could list it as such. If yeah. I wa but since I'm 81, I don't, I don't need any other excuse. But So, yeah, yeah, in California, that would be a comorbidity. Yeah. And uh, but they're not injecting people that have comorbidities yet. Well, also in New, in New York, if you go to a nursing home, that's a comorbidity. Ah. You've heard that before. I got it. I, get well, it. I thought mm -hmm. I'd try it one more time. You need not remind again. me, Alan. There may be yeah, some people I, listening. I heard it, I think. Oh, what do you know? Yeah. We've gone up to 34 people. Uh, we, we, we've uh, we, right. we, we've uh, got enough people here that maybe they didn't hear that joke before. 
So if oh. I tell it again, <laughs> you know. Um, you can always have new material. Well, I yeah. got a new joke. You got a new ah. joke? Okay, new joke, new joke time. Probably from... worse than the last one, though. I'll tell you, I usually don't let people tell jokes on, on my shows because they never have the timing to tell them correctly. Yeah. Yeah. But go ahead, give it a try, John. Okay, okay. Um, anyway, let me think. Got to remember it now. Oh, oh yeah, no. that really is selling oh, the joke. No. You're why, ready for it. Why were the guests at... This this is a uh, little dated. You so don't have to make excuses just, for it. Just, just, do, why just do it. Why were the guests at Paris Hilton's party reluctant to drink the apple juice? I don't know. I give up. Because they heard there was sperm insider. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. I, I'm in pain. Oh, well, I'll tell this you is something. Why I never kind of, oh that's, God. that's why I, I never let you. I thought it was a little like, dated. So I will tell you something kind of like that. It's not a joke. This is serious. When I was in high school, my best friend spiked the punch bowl at the senior ball or the senior dance with LSD. And the newspaper, oh, yeah, the newspaper caught up with three girls and interviewed them, and I have the newspaper clipping still. They swore they were being chased by giant Easter eggs. Oh, my. <laughs> I had a friend in high school who was stuck for an oral book report. He didn't read a book. He's never read a book. He still has never read a book. The teacher picks on him. He stands up, and the teacher said, what book did you read? And he goes, I really forget the title. It was by some Russian guy. And she says, she's very gullible, and she said, what was the name of the Russian guy? And he said, who bit your cock off? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> All right. Th that's better than Mark. Oh, wow. boy. That's a true story, actually. Oh, okay. Well, mine's a true story, too. Oh, boy. Well, Giant um, Easter eggs, huh? Wow. Boy, that was good All these stuff. jokes, ladies and gentlemen, are based on a true story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why do they find that's a selling point for movies based on a true story? Yeah. When I go Our to a movie, I, when you go to a movie, you don't want real life, do you? Yeah, who cares? You want fantasy. You go to the movies yeah. to get away from life. No, we based on a true want, story. They should say, we're not creative enough to figure out something on our own, so let's tell you this story. Anyway, hey, I'm going to play the theme. Hey, yeah. and, and this is our citizen panel. This is what they look like. Uh, and I'm very happy to have them here because they're all intelligent, massively humorous people who have bad timing when it comes to telling jokes. But anyway, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you to Jeffrey Stein. Uh, thanks to Robert Natali. Uh, always funny, Robert. Uh, Dan Meyer, thank you so much. John Larkin, great joke, John. <laughs> and of course Brian Neary ladies and gentlemen every one of them give me a big wave goodbye and I'll give a wave big I'll be, wave goodbye back at you okay there they go folks there's our citizen panel they're on their way out the door okay up next right here on uh, GabNet is Jack Bishop and he's here with the intersection and you can call him using Skype at GabNet Live Meanwhile, uh, I'm going to go take uh, 24 hours off. Uh, I think my hernia is bothering me right now from sitting so long. Anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, you know, same time. <laughs> I, I'm trying to stall here because I've got a minute. Uh, all of a sudden, I have more time than usual. Um, uh, 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 let me just say, uh, okay. Um, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Oh, after the uh, sports show. Sports show goes on. I think it goes on at 9 o'clock now. It shows how much I pay attention to my own network. Uh, and uh, we there's a sports show. And then I come on at 1030 Eastern D uh, Standard Time. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, as always, please tell her I love her. And by the way, whatever you do, please. Be safe out there and wear a mask. Good night, everybody. Bye.